This tutorial will help you find the databases and primary sources, primary research journal article sources that you will need for doing your research project in this class. So you can see that you start just at the regular UC homepage and click on libraries. If you are off campus like I am, the first thing that you're going to have to do is log into the off-campus access. You can find that here on the toolbar on the left. If you're on campus, if you live in the dorms, if you're working from the library, you don't necessarily need to do this. But if you're off campus, if you're at home and you don't live on campus, this is going to allow you to access the full text journal articles, which is very helpful. So you click on that, you click on library off-campus access. You're going to use your regular UC credentials here. And it takes you back to the original page there. So you have two choices here. If you already know the journal that you're looking for, maybe you've um, found a reference in one of the reference lists of a different journal article that you've been reading and you say, hey, that sounds like a really helpful article. Let me look in the reference list. Oh, it's in communication monographs. You can click on the journals tab, type in the name of that journal, and it will tell you what the library has access to, particularly with full text. So if you've got the reference list, it will tell you all of the information that you need for finding that journal article, things like what year it was, what, um, what issue number it was. So maybe the one that we're looking for is an issue from 2004 Maybe we're looking for issue number three. And here you can see that it provides the names of each article, the authors, the page numbers, um, and then it gives you the options along the side here for viewing the full, full text, downloading the full text so that you can read it. Now usually you'll find that you don't actually know the journal articles yet. You don't know the journal title, you don't know the author because you're just getting an inkling about what you want to study. In that case, your databases are going to be more useful than specific journals. So to find the databases, you go back to this original articles and more tab, click on A to Z list of databases. If you know the name of the database that you're looking for, you can click on the um, title up here, the, the alphabet, with whatever the journal article or the, the database name starts with. But usually you want to browse by subject. So you have this drop down list here. Now we're doing communication research methods, so the communication databases are going to be most helpful to us. So you choose that and click on go. And there's 16 different ones. About four of them are going to be really useful for this project. You'll see things like the Cincinnati Enquirer. Well, that's a really useful resource, but it doesn't provide primary research. The, the people writing in it are journalists, not academic researchers. And so the articles that you find there aren't going to count towards the five scholarly articles that you need. So it's not that it's a bad database, but for doing academic research, it's not as helpful. So the four that you're going to look for, Communication and Mass Media Complete. This is a really great one, particularly if you are interested in mass media, if you're interested in social media, if you're interested in television, if you're interested in advertising, all of this is going to be, um, it's going to pull up the most useful articles for you. Com Abstracts is probably the best all-around database because it covers 
all of the different types of communication and other closely related fields of study, things that might be pertinent to allow you to find things that are most interesting to you. So this is probably the best first stopping point, the one that's going to give you um, the most relevant scholarly journal articles. The other two that are really useful are PsycInfo and the Social Sciences Citation Index. These are a little bit broader than Com Abstracts, so they, they include a lot more um, psychology journals, sociology journals, other social science journals, which aren't unhelpful. Um, for instance, if you're into interpersonal communication, you'll know there is a lot of overlap with psychology, and so this psych info is going to be a really helpful resource. But because it is a broader net, you're going to find more resources and it might be harder to wade through 200 articles instead of maybe the 30 you would find in Com Abstracts. So my suggestion is start with Com Abstracts. If you're not finding the variety of articles that you need, even after you choose some different search terms, go look at SSCI or PsycInfo. You'll get um, a greater number of results. So let's go to Com Abstracts, click on Connect. And there are um, search fields at the top here where you put in the um, search terms that you're looking for, the constructs that most interest you, or if you know the a particular author that you're looking for, if you know, um, for instance, keywords that you're looking for, something that is in the abstract. I usually just leave them to the um, default. Unless there is a particular author that I'm looking for, you can select author and put the author name in. If you wish to only find full text, maybe you don't want to go to the library, you can click on this. I recommend clicking on scholarly peer review journals. Those are the ones that are going to be most helpful to you. Um, and then if you want to limit the publication dates, sometimes uh, professors will require that you use only research from the last 10 years or the last 20 years. So you can limit that here by selecting what date range you want. The, the more that you limit your results, the fewer results you're going to get. So if you do a search and you get 500 results, come back and limit um, either publication dates or um, languages, if you're finding things that are in a language that is not familiar to you. But maybe we are interested in persuasion and culture. You'll see that that brings us up 60 full text scholarly peer review journals from 1975 to 2004. So you can scroll through these and read the titles and say, which one of these look most um, relevant to me? Which ones look like they're going to give me a good overview? So maybe you decide, okay, well, um, none of these sound all that exciting to me. So I'm trying to find one that might be exciting. Okay, persuasive strategies for advertising for young. You can read the abstract and find out, does this actually sound like a study that is going to be useful to me? Sometimes titles aren't as informative. So reading the abstract gives you a one paragraph review of what's going to be in that study and generally will show you whether or not it's going to be useful to you. And then if it is, you can click on the PDF full text. And if it's not, you go back. Maybe you're not finding the articles here that are most interesting to you. So start thinking through, what are some other terms that I could look for? So maybe I'm looking for attitude change, which is a little bit different um, than persuasion. And maybe instead of culture, what I'm really interested in are 
um, young adults or teenagers. That only gives me one result, so I might need to um, change my search terms again to find a greater number of uh, results because one isn't going to be enough. So maybe we're looking at um, young. So this is going to young children's, um, women in advertising, attitude changes with age. So this will give you information not just about teenagers or young adults, but also um, other age groups. So you can see that sometimes finding the right search terms is not an exact science. You have to practice. You have to um, try some different combinations. And the more terms that you fill in, the fewer results that you're going to get. If you just did attitude change, you'll see that you'll get 344 term, uh, search results. So you can always go through, look at some of the titles and say, oh, this is really what I'm looking for. The other way that you can find really um, good research articles is if you are finding um, an art, if you find an article this way that really resonates with you, that you think, wow, this is um, exactly what I'm looking for, you can always click on their reference list so go to the PDF full text. And if you scroll to the end, looking through their reference list can allow you to find other articles that contributed to this one. And so you might go through and say, oh yeah, this definitely sounds like what I'm looking for. Let me go back to the UC homepage and find this journal and this article. So it's a back and forth process that is not an exact science. It's going to take some time, but the more you do it, the better you get, the easier it becomes, the more you can think through what are the exact search terms that I'm looking for. So again, from the very beginning, if you go to the UC homepage, you're going to click on libraries, log into your off-campus access if you haven't already, go to databases, select communication and choose com abstracts, communication mass media, psych info, and social science citation index. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.